Welcome back to another episode of Be In Demand. Today, we're going to be talking about mm, unexpected networking opportunities because you never know who you're going to meet and what they do. So let's get on to the show. So it is another story time episode where something, this is just something very interesting that happened to me. And I wanted to share this with you because I always want you to be open to these interesting opportunities. So been attending a lot of live in-person events. Um, again, the fall is filled with a lot of conferences. It will slow down like after Thanksgiving until New Year's, but please keep in mind, that does not mean that meeting planners are taking that month, month and a half off. Meeting planners are still working and they're planning the spring conference season. So keep that in mind. Don't slow down. Keep keep reaching out. But I want to talk to you about, because I was at this event and in the mornings, I like to get up. I like to go for a walk. I like to go to the gym, go exercise because I know that I'm going to be sitting, especially if I'm an attendee. Even if I am the speaker, I'm still going to do my workouts or my walk and just kind of like go over my presentation because I still, again, I know I'm going to be at this event all day. I'll either be talking to attendees, I'll be sitting down, I'll be meeting lots of people. But either way, this particular morning, got up and I walked to Starbucks like I had done the other days beforehand. And there were kind of some homeless people that were sleeping on the streets. So it was a little sketchy, but this particular morning, I would say there were some extra characters out out there. Um, I think because of the time change, maybe um, they were, you know, a little off with, you know, they're waking up a little bit earlier, so to speak. And it was a little, um, a little nervous for me to like walk the two blocks to Starbucks, but got my coffee and was on my way back. And I met a woman who approached me and she said to me, is it safe to be walking out here? And I said, well... Oh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure today. Where are you going? She said, Starbucks. Let me walk with you. So we end up walking to Starbucks. I'm walking back to Starbucks and we have this conversation. What brings you here? Where are you from? And she's attending a conference, you know, that's being hosted by her company. And we just have this great conversation about what she does, about employee retention, about what their company is doing. And then she turns to me and says, well, what do you do? And I share with her what I do, but also, you know, like, hey, I've recently, I spoke for a large insurance company to their women employees because you know, because this woman was in HR, You know that it is so much easier to promote from within than to try to find somebody on the outside to fill a position when you don't have that relationship with this person. And we just had a great conversation. And I learned some interesting things about the people from her part of the country. Well, she wished that I was going to be around a little bit longer. And I just want to say, again, you never know who you're going to meet. But when she had said like, oh, I wish that you were going to be here for a few more days because I'd love for you to meet my boss. Um, we're going to have head of this per- this department, head of that department. I was like, and I know as a speaker, they've already got their speakers lined up. They've already got the agenda for their event. Even if something, a faux pas happened and a speaker is not able to get there, you know, you've filled it back in. You've readjusted your agenda. And so I just said, oh, well, how often do you have this conference? That's another question that you might want to ask. And she said, we do this every year. Fantastic. I said, let's talk when you get home. We can talk about like how I might be able to add value next year. And so that meeting is in the works, but she works for a small company. And I'm I'm kidding. I'm a little sarcastic. It is actually a large company, a global company. And you again, you just never know who you're going to meet. 
And I did end up running back into her later that morning. And she was with her, with her superior and had a great conversation. So you, again, you never know who you're going to meet, but the key thing that I want you to walk away, and this was something that somebody had reminded me of, like one of the best networking tactics is being nice to people. And that's all I was doing. I was, I mean, I literally looked like I had just rolled out of bed because I had, I had leggings on, a sweatshirt. I mean, I wasn't dressed to impress. I was just dressed to walk to Starbucks. And she was in the same boat. She just kind of like got dressed and wanted to go get some coffee. And you just never know who you're going to meet. You just never know who you're being polite to, who you're helping out, because You never know who you might meet and who they might be able to connect you with. So that's an important thing that I just wanted to remind everybody of is like, who can we reach out to? You know, like who can you connect together? Who in your network needs to meet each other? I like, you know, from previous podcasts that connection is one of my highest values. And I love when somebody says, hey, I'm looking for podcast guests. I instantly will start thinking of all the guests that I've had on my show, but also like clients and friends. Who do I know that this person could benefit from knowing? Who can I just connect these two people together? And when that happens, I mean, like that, that just makes my heart so happy that I've been able to do that. So I like to connect people together. I like to help people out. You know, I love doing email swaps because I want to put other people like, hey, let me share your freebie in front of my audience. That just brings me so much joy. And so, you know, I think that there's a lot to that phrase, you know, like that Zig Ziglar says, you know, when you help enough people get what they want, you will get everything that you want. It comes down to like that, that story, you know, and what's taught in the Bible, like, you know, like when you give, it comes back 10 times, you know, but that giving is not always the exact same thing, meaning you donate $10 to some organization and a hundred dollars is going to come back to you. It could be in very different forms forms, very different ideas. Like I introduced somebody, but who knows, like they, they might end up sending a client my way or it won't always be like a speaking event, you know, like you just never know. It could be a connection to somebody else who actually is going to be like, Hey, I know the perfect person that you need to meet. And I might be speaking for them. Again, you just never No. So there's something about being really polite with people, really considerate and respectful, and just being really curious, really getting to know them. And maybe like, well, what brought you here to this event? Or where are you traveling from? Because again, you just, there are so many places that you can be meeting people. You can be meeting people like in the grocery store line, you know, at the airport, you know, the person who's sitting next to you on the airplane, at conferences, at events, just always be approachable. So that just kind of means like not folding your arms across your body, you know, like having them down by your side, you know, smiling and just looking approachable, shoulders back, stand up nice and tall, and just look like you're happy to be there. Being approachable will actually help other people approach you, like this woman approaching me, asking me, is it safe to be walking out here? You know, and again, like, what nice thing can you do for uh, somebody else who might be in need? Or maybe just who's somebody that you've been thinking of lately, like, and just, hey, maybe I should reach out to them. Or who can I connect that person with? How can I help them today? And trust me, it all comes out. It will all come back to you in the end. So I hope this is giving you something uh, interesting to think about again. Uh, Maybe reactivate within your own life, you know, start doing again, but get yourself out to in-person events. You've heard me say this before. Um, Yes, there are some great online events, but nothing beats sitting next to somebody, extending your hand, saying hi, hi how are you? It's nice to meet you. Because again, 
you never know where that hello is going to take you. So till next week, let's be in demand. <laughs>